Johnny in Lamarck, Texas, says you want to disagree with me? Yeah, first I want to agree with you on this notion about uh, Republican or conservative uh, ideology in charge always leading to people increase uh, suicides because the economy sucks under that and life sucks in general. Yep. So I agree with you there. Where I take issue with you is the idea about a military draft. And my two, race, my two main reasons for being against it is that Vietnam proved that you can have a war going on and on, even with the draft. And number two, there is no really e egalitarianism when you have a draft, because you, we both know that people of influence always weasel their way out, even when they are, quote-unquote, wearing the uniform like George Bush did, being uh, playing a wall and never having to account or be punished for that. Right. It, it, Johnny, your argument sort of runs like this. Um, we don't really enforce speeding tickets in this town, so let's just stop having a speed limit. What, what, what I'm suggesting is if one of the lessons of Vietnam is that, is, is that uh, people figure out a way around the draft, that when you reinvent the draft, you reinvent it so that there are no exceptions, so that every member of Congress's kids have to go, period. End of subject, number one. And number two, if you're saying that the draft didn't help end the Vietnam War, I, and, and I think many people of my age would totally disagree with you. It was the draft that got millions of people out there. It was the draft that got the kids out there at Kent State. It was the draft that brought a million people to, to, the, uh, to the White House lawn so that Richard Nixon decided not to use nuclear weapons, if you remember that story. It was the, it was the draft that caused Jerry Ford to finally pull us out without having, quote, won the war. We lost a war rather than keep the draft going because the draft was so unpopular. I believe, Johnny, if we had a draft right now that Americans would not be calling for, even Republicans would not be calling for boots on the ground in Syria, which the president just increased, uh, boots in the, on the ground in Iraq, which the president has recently increased, boots on the ground in Afghanistan. It, these are not even boots on the ground. That, that's a dehumanizing term. Human beings, our young men and women, um, you know, on the ground in Afghanistan, it should not be. And if we had a military draft, just like we did during Vietnam, Johnny, you'll recall during Vietnam, there were a hell of a lot of people who in the military who were speaking out against Vietnam because Tom, it, it was a draft. To what your last points are there. I still have to respectfully disagree because I'm old enough to remember being under the specter of being drafted myself. And I remember in 1971 thinking to myself, okay, as a... Uh, 12 year old thinking when in the heck is this war going to end and in spite of all the protests that went on and my theory is that the government will conduct a war until it feels it's got its objectives met and that's not necessarily to win strategically or land but also thinning the herd yeah we i don't i don't think so people. johnny uh, we didn't we, you know we didn't succeed at all in vietnam we just got the hell out and had there in my opinion had there not been a draft we wouldn't have done so we would still be fighting there just like we are in Iraq and Afghanistan right now. Yeah, but again, I'm telling you, like, I hate to agree with Rush Limbaugh, but war is not just about killing people and breaking things. It's about killing people. <laughs> and even though we technically didn't win, yeah. we still achieved one objective, at least the people in, in the elite circles. That's to thin the herd. I, and I'm no, totally I, against that approach. I, I think that's pretty specious. And the other thing about Vietnam is back during the Vietnam draft, if you got drafted, and, and I remember that too, you know, I was in the lottery, Louise's brother was in the lottery. Um, if your number came up, you knew there was a very good chance you were going to die. If we reinvented the draft so that you could choose between going into the military or just volunteering at a hospital, people would not have that kind of anxiety. Johnny, thanks for the call. Great conversation. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.